What's up everybody, Theme Rhino from ThemeRhino.com, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be dissecting the differences and the similarities, the benefits, the pros, the cons, to the one product Shopify store and the multi-product Shopify store. So, on my website here, or not my website, but uh, there is a website, uh, Legion Athletics for example, it is a multi-product store, alright? When you come to the website, you have a shop. And it has a bunch of different products that you can purchase. Um, and, you know, that is what's typical in the landscape today. A lot of the times, if we look at all the e-commerce stores uh, that are created on the Internet, majority of them are multi-product stores. However, we have also, on the other hand, a one-product store. Now, the one-product store emerged from the advent of the Internet when people were creating landing pages. So, for those who don't know, I just want to uh, make sure I'm recording here. For those who don't know, in the beginning, the internet really didn't have as many one pro uh, multi-product stores. Back in the year uh, 2003, 2002, 2005 even, multi-product stores were not uh, very common. It was actually very rare. And when people wanted to buy stuff, they would create like a, a check or they would send a check through the mail and uh, that check would be cashed and the product would be sent to you assuming that you're not buying from a scammer now the case with that is is oddly enough through time it just so happened that there are more multi product stores now than there are one product stores now to not even talk about the history let's forget about the history yesterday we talked about the one product store the theme from theme Addo or theme Addo. you guys can go ahead and check it out I'll leave it in the description and we also mentioned alpha uh, Wolf, Wolf of Shopify specifically, and you guys know I've spoken about uh, these themes a lot on my YouTube channel, right? For a multi-product store, I talked about the different psychological biases that consumers have when it comes down to purchasing a product, um, the things that they want to see when it comes down to making a sale or decision making, right? And you as an entrepreneur, you have to ask yourself the critical question is, what is it going to take to get this consumer to buy from me? And that's really, guys, the hurdle, the biggest step from step A to step Z when it comes down to becoming a beginner in e-commerce and business alone. You have to figure out for each individual business what is going to make that consumer buy a product from me. What is it? What is it going to be? Right? Is it going to be the ad? Is it going to be the price? Is it going to be the benefits? What is it going to be? Now, with that being said, a individual who's running a multi-product store just like Wolf or even, for example, like uh, Legion Athletics here, which is a, a website that has many different products. Even if we go on to Alphalete, right? If we go to Alphalete here and we click on their website, this is an example of a multi-product store, right? With many different products. When you look at a website like this, there's a focus that every product in a way has to be marketed. It has to be promoted, okay? Now, some can piggyback off of others. So, for example, let's just head back here. This is the main product. Let's just say this is the main product. N not necessarily is, but let's just say it's the main product. In the world of e-commerce, uh, we don't use the words main product. We use the words flagship. So, in this case, let's just say it's the flagship. It's the product that majority of people go to buy. Okay? Even though that's not the case for this specific website, let's just say it is. Well, a product like this or like that or like that can piggyback off of it because when traffic comes to in search of a uh, you know a single product or a specific product uh, consumers can take a look at other products now something that I will say for everybody to realize is for a one product store the the situation is completely different let's just say and let's imagine for a second that this page right here is a one product store imagine that there were no other products on this website no other benefits this website would suffice and do very very well for a one product store but in that notion consumers are not buying any other products for you so realize that there are pros and cons to each in its own nature a one product store is very laser focused a multi-product store is diverse in nature simply because of the multiple products that it offers. Now, one is not better the, uh, than the other. It depends on what kind of entrepreneur you are, at least for the beginning, at least for the start. Majority of people are watching this YouTube channel are beginners. They maybe have never made their first $100,000 online, and they want to figure out how. 
The reality is, is that as an entrepreneur, depending on what kind of uh, knowledge, what kind of books, what kind of courses that you have been exposed to, you are preconditioned to be better at developing one or the other, whether it be a one product store or whether it be a multi product store. Now, just for reference for people who haven't watched since the beginning of the video, this is not an example of a one product store. I'm just telling you, imagine it is. Okay. Now, with that being said, like I said, not one is better than the other. Now, I'm going to lay out the pros and cons to each individual one. And based on the information that I already said, some of you can deduce information and come up with conclusions for yourself. But let's go ahead and clear it out. When you're creating a one product store, the focus is simply on one product. Yes, there are upsells. Yes, there are cross sells. Yes, there are down sells. But the main focus, the flagship, the most of where your advertising money is going to go is the landing page on which that one product lies. Okay. As opposed to a multi-product store, a lot of your advertising dollars are going to be diversed into traffic, uh, uh, diversible traffic within the web pages of your store. What do I mean? Let's just say um, we have for these top products here, we have, let's say, 50,000 web visitors on each, and then all the other products of the store have 2,000 web visitors each. Well, in that case, we would run retargeting ads to focus on each individual product, and we would take our profits, about 30%, and reinvest it into ads specifically for these top six or seven products, okay? Now, the reason why that is, just is it's just normal e-commerce. This is what entrepreneurs do in the space of e-commerce. It's kind of the numbers that we work with. That's why a lot of the times in the entrepreneurial e-commerce space, you'll hear people say the law of 33%. Right. If you're going to buy a product for, let's say, a dollar, you ideally want to sell that product for at least three dollars. Now, obviously, in this case, we're not talking about AliExpress or anything like that. But imagine you buy something at wholesale after shipping, after all these kind of expenses for ten dollars. Well, it would be ideal to be able to sell the product for at least thirty so that you can spend ten on the actual product. 10 on the advertising and take the other 10 or the last 10 and put it in your pocket which you are eventually going to pay taxes for this is why i say at least 30 and this is where now marketplaces come into play where you have the uh a premium market you have a uh budget friendly market and then you have kind of the in between right so if you're working on competing on price think again now with that being said okay it's easier to sell one product for one product store. That, that should be obvious, but it's not obvious to everybody. Meaning, let's say I create a website with many different products. It will be harder for me to sell just this one product than I will on other stores. I had beginners ask me before, uh, you know, I only have X, you know, this one product in stock. Should I make my website more, uh, you know, professional by adding more products to it? And the answer is absolutely not, right? If you just have one product in stock, figure out how to market that one product, okay? And in the drop shipping world, a lot of the people who are watching this YouTube video are in Shopify. I'd be interested to see who's in drop shipping and who's not in drop shipping. But a lot of people who are watching this video are in e-commerce, are in drop shipping. And let's face it, a lot of the beginners in Shopify are drop shipping, which is not ideal, but it happens. And with that being said, especially in 2021, guys, it's not ideal. Um, when I speak for, you know, being not ideal, uh, dropshipping was ideal in 2016, okay, 2014, 2015. In 2021, you could even get away with 2018, 2019, but not in 2021. But let's just keep continue with the process here. You, you can't um, put all your hopes in one product, essentially, when you're doing a multi-product store, as opposed to... It is the process of building a brand more uh, accentuated than if you're doing it on a one product store. Let me explain that also, because I know the question is going to come up in your mind. Is it going to be, well, why can't I build a brand with a one product? You absolutely can. When you're building a brand, people get this this concept confused. They think a brand is a logo. They think a brand is um, uh, a, a, uh, a logo on a product, etc. It's not. That's not what a brand is. There are many people who have a brand, right, that sell only one product, but that's not a brand. It's a product, right? There are many people also who sell many products, 
but yet again don't have a brand so let's just be very clear what a brand is a brand is is a recognizable feeling coming from a company let's just call it that right so when you think of nike you get a feeling that feeling could be or that opinion rather is a better word that opinion could be oh amazing products uh it could be uh too high too highly priced products um great shoes bad clothing bad clothing uh, great shoes. I mean, you, you whatever your opinion is is irrelevant, but you develop an opinion, okay? And you are remembered for that opinion. That is what a brand creates. When you're simply selling one product, you're not going to be known for your brand. You're going to be known for your product. Now, can that transfer over? Absolutely. A good company that did this is the company called Ninja. Ninja was a company that sold only blenders. Right? They were very well known for their blenders. They became the top of the top when it came to blenders selling blenders and they actually had a competitor called vitamix same thing with vitamix but vitamix is a little bit off the trail but you guys got to kind of get my point here over time ninja right when they were only known for their blenders they started to create other products and they started involving themselves in other uh home appliances small small uh level appliances uh for kitchens things like air fryers things like uh, microwave ovens uh all these different things that now the brand creates so at first the brand ninja when you think of the word ninja you thought of the blender it was a product that doesn't mean it's a brand it only became a brand till it, it increased its its market its its products that it's selling now why do i say that and why does that even matter well if you want to sell many different products well then you have to be brand focused and your idea has to be multi-product now that's not goes to say where you can't build yourself over time and start off with simply one product but if that's the case if you're starting with one product you're going to want to start with a one product theme why because it's going to teach you how to market for that one product let me explain when we go to theme auto here uh, you guys saw my video yesterday if you didn't see it go watch it if you look at the way the theme is designed and i'm not going to click on the demo now you guys can like i said go check out the video uh, I will make future videos on how to set this up, but the whole concept behind that that video or the the theme is that the focus is all on one product. It's not on its upsells, its cross sells, even though they exist. They're not the focus. The focus is the one main product. And up until a few years ago, we really couldn't do that with Shopify unless you had custom developers. Um, if you look back in 2017, 2016 one product stores didn't exist unless you had something very very custom built shopify was well known for creating a store kind of environment uh, a many products right but that has switched over time and a lot of people don't even get the whole concept of creating a a website or a business on shopify that has one product right they just don't get how that works they think that they could just put up the pay the product page and expect to just sell and it doesn't really work that way and you'll see with future series that we work on now with a brand okay you're in the benefit being that you have more runway um similar to when uh somebody's uh you know paragliding or something like that and they ha and they're you know going in for a landing they have more space more runway space that's exactly what you have when you build a brand with a multi-product store kind of like this. You have more uh, runway for people's opinions and desires and products that they want. Like, for example, you see this ad right here, this banner, right, which serves as an ad. You could see here a promotional banner. There are different products. Uh, and to each their own, everybody has their own desires of products. Somebody might like all three and buy all three of these products, right? Somebody might buy just simply one or two. Same thing with this photo. It shows a different uses of the product, right? So here we have all bunch of different colors for the product. In this case, right, we can say, okay, somebody might like this, this, um, whatever color this is. Maybe that's a bad example. Let's say this gray color, right? somebody might like this color over the black and they'll select the gray over the black and that's kind of the benefits and the pros that you get with getting a multi-product store is that you can easily show consumers all the different variations all the different changes to these products and all the different you know the differences essentially in these products to fit their specific needs which in general is more appealing to a larger audience okay when we're talking about a one product store 
one product stores are not appealing to a larger audience. It doesn't really matter how you slice it, how you dice it, but there's a very, very specific audience for a one product store. Now, if I was to recommend to the general public, the general population, which one would they start uh, first if it was their first business ever, I would say focus on a one product store first because it's easier. Now, I'm not saying that, um, you know, uh, one is going to make you more money than the other. You might start first with a one product store, make 10 grand your first year, and then you might start a multi product store and make 70 grand your first year doing that. But what I'm really saying is when you focus on a one product store, you just simply can't have a little section where it just says buy and that's it. You have to fill up the page. You have to show consumers what the benefits of the product are truly. And then you'll start to understand how to market a, prob a product in an ideal fashion. We're, we're going to go ahead and break some of that down into the future. But um, something that I want to cover in my future videos is how to actually do that. How do you take a product and how do you learn how to market it on specifically a one product store? And we'll, we'll go over that in future videos. Um, so... I made sure I came out with a video today. I don't know how long this video is. 16 minutes. Really not bad compared to what we're used to. So I'm going to keep posting these videos. Uh, we're going to do click by click tutorials in the future. We're going to be taking a look at the alpha theme. I know guys, I haven't given it much attention. Um, I know since it's came out, it's been a, a what, a, a month, two months, three months since it's came out. I really don't know. Time has been flying by. I haven't had enough time to um, make videos. I've been super, super busy. Shout out to everybody who's been watching the videos. Um, but, uh, you know, if you guys want more alpha, I know you guys have been requesting more alpha videos. I'm sorry. I just haven't been there yet. Uh, you know, I, I'll try as much as I can. Also, the one product store. It seems like there's so many videos I could make. Um, and I'll try, guys. I'll try to make more videos as soon as possible. Uh, with that being said... Thank you guys for watching. I'll leave all the links to these themes in the description box down below. Of course, there'll be my affiliate links. Um, so if you guys want to check them out, go ahead. Uh, but for the future, we will be creating more tutorials. There was a request I got in the comments a few videos ago for somebody requesting me to remake the Alpha Elite website, the new one. And I will absolutely do that if you guys want me to. I have no problem in doing that. So let me know. And uh, that's all. You know, I will do that soon. Just let me know what kind of other content you want to watch. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.